this is the Beaker Moth. It's a, a moth designed from Paul Beaker in Seattle uh, with engineering uh, by Riley Dean here in New Zealand and built by James Gell in New Zealand. Um, and I'm Scott and I'm sort of the test pilot. Uh, this is day, day two really for us, the official launch day. Uh, we just walked through a few of the, the features of the boat. Um, we've tried to go for a really aerodynamic profile by cutting out a lot of the, um, a lot of the bulk. So we've got really um, small area wing tramps, which are a bit of a, a big difference to, to a conventional moth boat. Um, we've cut a, a bunch of area out of the front of the tramp to try and make it more aerodynamic upwind. Uh, and that's what you can see, the big difference between this boat and other boats. We've also sort of got rid of the foredeck um, to try and clean up the flow towards the deck sweeping part of the rig. So deck sweeping rigs were a big, uh, big change in the class um, at the Worlds in 2017. So we've tried to push the envelope there a little bit. Um, there's still work to be done on our, on our sail to suit that, that setup. From this side you can see it's a pretty, uh, pretty low, low freeboard boat. Again, for aerodynamics, when you're flying, you don't need a whole, a whole bunch of freeboard, but, but we still have a lot of volume in the middle of the boat, the middle and the back, compared to a normal boat, a normal moth. Uh, we've got quite a lot of volume to make it nice and easy to sail in displacement mode and, and a good bit of rocker for, for easier takeoff. In, in terms of construction, we've gone for a, a pre-preg carbon skin with a Nomex core. Uh, which is probably a, a bit of a better production process than a, than a conventional moth. Um, it allows us to build a lighter boat overall with a tougher outer skin. Okay, we've gone for really long, stiff uh, vertical foils, um, solid carbon uh, made in, a, in an autoclave. So they're, they're super stiff, uh, big structures up the top where all the, the bending moment is. Uh, we've gone for, for quite high aspect horizontals. Um, so a really, really wide, small area horizontal section. Um, this is our big horizontal, but there's another smaller one coming for high winds. Um, and the same with the rudder. We've got a, a really high aspect rudder with a high aspect wing. Um, so the boat can fly higher again out of the water to a conventional moth. Um, and it's pretty frightening, to be honest. Gantry, we've tried to fare it into the hull as much as we can. Um, to, to make a better aerodynamic and hydro flow off the back. In terms of our cockpit, we've tried to um, sort of centralise all our control system in a, in a trough in the middle of the deck and we'll be able to cover that and make it really aerodynamic for, uh, for upwind um, aero efficiency. Other than that, it's a pretty, pretty conventional sort of uh, control system setup. 